Let's dive into importing captions in Final Cut Pro. It's a breeze. First, with your project open in the timeline, head up to the menu bar, click on File, then Import, and finally, Captions. Just a heads up, CEA-608 files usually end with .scc. ITT files end with .itt. And SRT files sport .srt at the end. Now, pick the file you want to import. In the Import as Role dropdown, select a caption role, and also choose a language subrole. You've got plenty of language options, but we'll stick with English for now. Next up is the Insertion Time section. You can go with Relative to Timeline if you want your imported captions to align with your project, or choose Absolute to keep the original timing. Now it's time to hit that Import button. If your timeline is empty or too short for the Absolute option, you might see a pop-up warning letting you know that some or all captions will be attached to a gap clip. Don't worry, just click OK. And there you have it. All your captions will neatly line up in a caption lane at the top of your timeline. Before we move on, why not sprinkle some positivity by hitting that thumbs up button? Not only does it tell me I'm doing a great job explaining things, but it also helps others discover this video. Thanks a bunch. You can also import a media file with embedded CEA-608 captions. The clip with embedded captions will sport a caption icon in your browser. Drag this clip into your timeline, then right-click on it and choose Extract Captions. Voila! Your captions will show up neatly in the caption lane at the top of the timeline. This technique also works seamlessly for extracting captions from compound clips. Simply give it a right-click and then select Extract Captions. Now that you've mastered importing captions, it's time to level up with adding captions in Final Cut Pro. I'll show you how to do it swiftly with a keyboard shortcut and how to customize your captions like a pro. Just click here to dive in.